of shame that just bursts into flame. That's how we do it in the old country. Guilt will start fires. Back though, in the winters back there in Scotland, my mother, uh, she went to some arts and, arts and crafts class and she made me a sled one winter. You know, a, it was huge though, it was too big. I think she got the sizes right, but this thing was about the size of the Queen Mary, the sled. You, gave it, you needed a runway for this sled. It was giant. And every time it snowed in Scotland, which is a lot, she would say, oh, take your sled out. It's time for you to take your sled out. I'm like, I can't take the sled out. I don't have a team of guys to help me with it. You need a crane for the sled. Because you want, you want something nippy when you're a kid in the snow. You want a tray, a little tray. You know, something that, that moves around. A tray in your ass, tray in your feet, down the hill you go. You can do that actually in Scotland in the summertime you can do that because it's so wet in the hillsides you just get a little tray on your ass, tray on your feet, down you go, you've got to be drunk. You've got to be drunk. <laughs> it's just, you've got to be, oh, God, I'm really drunk. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> I, if drunk training were an Olympic sport, I'd have gold by now. Gold. But you get disqualified for not being drunk, though, when you get disqualified for not taking drugs. Uh, anyway, the, the, uh, the joy of winter, of course, is skiing. There's a lot of people love the skiing in the winter. I, I, not much in Scotland. You'd think so, but no. Once, we had a school trip uh, once to go on a ski, for a skiing lesson. We went up some big slushy mountain, and they took us uh, on the school bus. Well, there wasn't a school bus. They, I, there was a... They took us in horse and cart. They took us... They whipped us. They whipped us. They just fired us from a gun up to the top of this hill. And, and there were no ski lessons. They didn't have, you know, any lessons, any ski instructors, any guys called France who said, hey, hey I help you kids, okay? No. <laughs> oh, you've been skiing. I, no. It was just, <laughs> it was just, they just said, here's your skis. That's the bottom of the hill. Off you go. And when I, it's true, and whenever I, when I was skiing down the hill, I did it once, I always fell in exactly the same part of my ass. Don't it? Right, you know the little tailbone bit right there? Right there, every single damn time. Boom, ah, boom, ah. I was you know, just crying. I just thought, this is rubbish, this skiing. This is just like, this is like regular school. And so years later, right, much, much later, I was at the Aspen Comedy Festival. The Aspen, what do you call it? Uh, Festival. And, I, and Aspen, it's got snowy there. And I thought, I'll take some snowboarding lessons with a professional. So that's what I did. And I met this guy, very kind of uh, 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 guy, who's got the raccoon thing from wearing goggles. And, and he says, right, now, apparently part of snowboarding is to fall on your ass. It's the, the ass fall movement. You know, you go like that, and then bang, you fall on your ass. And I always fell on exactly the same part of my ass again. So I'm never doing it again. It's also embarrassing to learn to snowboard and ski when you're like 40 years old. This is a two-year-old, you know, skating past you like that. Like that. Stop crying, jackass! <laughs> I, they're little, they don't fall over, you know, they just, they're all... I once went ice skating in, in all places, Charlotte, North Carolina. And they had, uh, they had an ice hockey training academy or something there, and I was there for, I can't remember why, I think I was drunk. And they, <laughs> they <laughs> it can happen. And I, uh, I, I, they give you these, if you're the goalie, they give you this great big padding thing right round your ass uh, to, to, you know, to you know, protect you from the puck. <laughs> puck. And I, CBS, you've got to be careful. Uh, if this was cable, I wouldn't care. But, you know, CBS, <laughs> Tiffany Network. Puck. So I, I have this thing around me, and I thought if I had this giant padded thing, I could have learned to ski properly. I'd, I'd wear it all the time if I could, actually. That. I'm wearing it now. I'm wearing it right now. <laughs> the best place I went to for winter fun was Sweden. Sweden, they know how to do the winter fun. They've got the saunas there. And I went. I thought, this is going to be fun. Because you think, I'm going to the saunas, it'll be full of free-thinking, you know, pouty Swedish women. <laughs> All kind of, you know, desperate to meet a man. It's pathetic. Hey, Scottish man, you like ABBA and pine furniture? Let's make monkey love. 
so didn't happen. Didn't happen. The sauna had pouty fat men in them. Uh, oh, there were boobies, but a very different sort of boobie. Right? And you sit in this sauna, and it's hot and it's sweaty, and some big fat Swedish guy hits you with eucalyptus leaves. And then they all run outside and, and roll around in the snow. And then scream and then run back inside. It's like Swedish Fear Factor or something. They just run out and... Yeah. I don't think that's even allowed under the Geneva Convention. I think that's illegal. I, 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 I wouldn't do it. Anyway, this is winter in California. Winter here. And no one... No one's going to be out in the snow here in California. It's not going to happen. Uh, but in California, everybody gets sick. That's what we do. We all get the flu here. Uh, I, and it's hard to get a good flu shot. I've got a flu shot, but not the good one. You have to be... Just like the... Because there's like... It's everything in Hollywood. There's a VIP flu shot list. There is. There is. You, you can get... This will cover regular flu, but bird, dangerous bird flu? Nah, nah. You, you don't get that. Letterman gets that. I don't get that. So I go to the <laughs> I go to the go to the CBS doctor for you know for it's flu season what have you got he said here's Advil wear a hat good luck. Worldwide.